Hi, and a huge Christmas welcome to Steve's Kitchen. Yesterday, I made Christmas pudding in a mug, and I can tell you that was delicious. You'd be fighting them off in the streets for it. But today, we're gonna be making luxury Christmas pudding in a mug. Now, it's a little extra work, not a great deal, uh, but it's still very quick to make. And for a bit of fun, we're gonna be making custard in a cup as well. So, uh, let me show you how. Now there are two or three major difference between the deluxe Christmas pudding and the standard Christmas pudding and the first of those is the fruit that I'm putting in. I'm putting in a much more variety of fruit. Now the fruit I have here has to equal still half a cup of fruit uh, but rather than just going for mixed fruit I've got some uh, currants, some lovely dark sweet currants. I've got my own mixed peel here, just pop that in there. I've got some raisins, some lovely sweet soft raisins, cranberries of course wonderful for Christmas. And then I have some glacé cherries, some dried apricots, and some dates here, which I do have to just finely chop up. So there they are all diced up now, and I'll just lift them up and put them into the mug. So there's our half a cup of fruit. Now we want to add some brandy to that. I'm gonna put a tablespoon of brandy and pour it over the fruit. Give it a little mix through. So we set that aside for at least 10 or 15 minutes now so the fruit becomes lovely and plump and moist from the brandy. And whilst that's doing that, we're gonna make custard in a cup. So how are we gonna make custard in a cup? Well, we're gonna take one egg yolk, pop it into our cup, two teaspoons of granulated sugar, and one tablespoon of corn flour. Now I know our American friends call that corn starch. And we're going to add half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then we're gonna take these ingredients and mix them to a paste. And try to mix that until you've got no lumps in there at all. Now here I've got one cup of full cream milk and I'm just going to pour about a quarter of that in there and then just mix it through again. Again, so we don't get any lumps in the custard. And when it's nice and even like that, we'll take the last bit of the milk, pour it all into the cup. Now give that one last good stir then we're going to pop that straight away into the microwave for 30 seconds and bring it out and stir it again. Now it's important that we take the custard out of the microwave every 30 seconds and give it a good stir if we don't want lumpy custard. Now that'll go back in for another 30 seconds, probably about a minute and a half to two minutes before it's completely thickened. Now look at that custard, it's beautiful. There are no lumps in there. It took about two minutes and you do have to let it boil, just bubble a little bit, but be careful, don't overdo it. So now that is piping hot. We'll just set that aside and finish our Christmas pudding. So back with our Christmas pudding in a mug, you can see that the brandy is soaked now into that fruit. I'm gonna take one whole egg and just break it in on top. Now, one tablespoon of self-raising flour. If you only have all-purpose flour, you'll have to add a pinch of baking powder into it. One tablespoon of a dark, soft brown sugar. Now, this is luxury Christmas pudding, so I am using half a tablespoon of suet. If you can't get suet, use butter. One half a teaspoon of Dutch processed, good quality cocoa. And of course, the spices. I've got mixed spice here, and I'm gonna put one teaspoon of mixed spice in. One tablespoon of milk and one tablespoon of a vegetable oil. And as I said on the last pudding, you can choose between a treacle and a molasses. This time I'm going to use the molasses. So that's two tablespoons of dark molasses. Now will you look at that? I'm gonna mix that up now. The smells coming from there are delightful. I'm gonna mix that up to a lovely soft batter. And once all your dry goods are incorporated and you've got a nice smooth batter, that is going in a microwave at high for two minutes. And you can just imagine how that is gonna smell and taste when it's cooked. Now that's come out of the microwave and it is looking and smelling delicious. I've got my custard in a cup here. I'm not gonna eat it out of the mug. I'm just gonna run a knife around the inside of the cup and then just pour this one out onto my plate like that. My, that looks fantastic. Now we've got our custard. I do love a bit of custard on my Christmas pudding. Now let's pour that on there. There's enough here probably for two people. Now I'm in Christmas pudding heaven. Doesn't that look fantastic? My God, I am so impressed. The smell coming off here, the custard is perfect. Uh, 
I am lucky enough. I wish I could share this with some of you. It's just wonderful. Let me know if you decide to make this and try it. Now be careful, out of the microwave, this can be very hot. I'm gonna give this a try. Oh, that encapsulates everything about Christmas pudding and Christmas itself. One of the best desserts, I think, over the Christmas period. Well, I hope you try this one. It is absolutely delicious. And please, whether you try this one or the last one, comment down below and let me know you have. It'll be great to hear from you. Share the love, give this a thumbs up. I'll see you next time. I hope this has helped somebody out there that hasn't got a Christmas pudding and wants to make one on Christmas Day. I will leave some links here to some other Steve's Kitchen recipes. I love it if you subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, be good, share the love as I say, thumbs up for this video. Get the kids involved with this one. I'll see you next time.